to bring the question, did you guys meet up on Feta or do you meet up somewhere near Feta? Either one works. I would not have gone to Feta intentionally. Are you out of your fucking mind? Not from what you told me about Feta. No one goes Nobody to Feta. Nobody goes there intentionally. <laughs> no one goes to Feta intentionally unless they're trying to escape from something. I, I, I don't I don't think I went to Feta unless I yeah, unless like some sort of like horrific happenstance happened, like I ended up suggesting in the group chat. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's I, I imagine we picked up the job. Somewhere else. Mm-hmm. It's entirely possible that that seems like the most likely thing, and you guys are just stuck on Feta for the time being. And trust me, you want to leave. I'm I'm completely fine with the proposed story that we threw together. That you guys were. Let, let, let's see. Like uh, we were contracted by Ford at a hut to bring him like some rare food delicacy, like those fucking frog legs or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the process of picking those up and then attempting the delivery we ran into a blockade a uh, despair was rolled a and customs yes customs check. customs check a uh, despair was rolled and the refrigeration cooling unit that was maintaining the preservation of these rare delicacies was destroyed mm-hmm. so the delicacies were utterly ruined Mm-hmm. Except we didn't realize it until yeah. we dropped yeah. them off. We were too busy trying to hold the ship together, and it barely arrives at Feta, shuddering in its death throes. Mm-hmm. Because it turns out we only bribed customs to overlook illegal cargo, and we didn't know this was actually legal, so they tried to confiscate it. So they had to run. We, yes. We, we arrive at Feta like, well, I mean, that was a really close call, but we managed to succeed in this together, so that's good. And we're going to make enough credits back by delivering this rare, like, special, like, urgent delivery thing for Forda. Turns out the food was spoiled, and Forda not only refused to pay us, but demanded that we pay him so much that we had to sell the starship we had for scrap just to break even with Forda. What was left of it after customs shot at the hell? Mm-hmm. Seems fine to me. I mean, but it's cool. It was a rental. <laughs> it's cool, guys. It's a rental. <laughs> well, I don't want to say it's a rental because I don't want to owe obligation to anyone else. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like this story alone already adds twenty obligations. <laughs> it adds cool. You already you paid you paid off the obligation. That's with all right. The we already paid for that. Yeah. yeah. When, yeah. when we paid him off because customs is basically under his thumb, they disappeared as well. That's right. That's right. We don't know all of the motivations. We just knew that uh, Forda had us in a bind right there, you know, in an audience chamber. And mm-hmm. uh, at the time, we could not refuse. The most likely place that you could have done this would have been Ord Mantel. It's, a, it's nearby. It's near Feta, and it's a... It's like super industrial, isn't it? It's super industrial, and it... It's probably it's probably you were just picking up the delivery from someone else because you had a faster ship. Like Forda needed it within you know the fortnight or something cool. like that. Emphasis yeah. on the half. Twelve yeah. days to go within the same grid sector. <laughs> <laughs> he needed it as quickly as possible, and the people that were shipping it were doing it really slowly. So he's like, pick it up in Ord Mantel where you are, and then bring it to me. As soon as we hit hyperspace, their ship just gets shot to hell and destroyed for failing. Mm-hmm. Four to the hut. You know, and it's a really, like, minor job and doesn't play well to everyone's skill set, but, you know, we four, like, maybe either, like, just met or we've encountered, like, a series of highly unlikely coincidences that result in, like, bad luck. So we're like, all right, we're going to get this and we're going to turn it all around. Mm-hmm. It started out as one of those things where... You know, we, we kind of were put together as a team that didn't know each other for a job. And then after that, it was like, okay, well, as soon as that one was finished, another job was available. So it was just kind of like convenience for the first few. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like you're just continuing with it because it's routine now? Right. And it's just kind of like, well, we, you know, we kind of know these people a little bit, which is more than the other people around us. So. And you're stuck on Theta. Yeah. Yeah. With that in mind, I like the idea that the ship that we used to have was actually Ryan's characters, and we don't know exactly how she, like, owned the ship, or, like, how she got it. We just knew that it was a rickety piece of junk. I would definitely say I probably didn't own it. (laughs) He acquired one? 
it just happened that they left the keys in the ignition <laughs> and the door while was they unlocked. went in to use the bathroom at a gas station and uh, uh, let's just say the transponder codes for this thing are not my own because that works for the idea like uh, Rector doesn't have a ship so like a smuggler like comes and says that she needs like she's like alright yeah sure I can take you along and Rector is like cool she has a ship I can do that I'll go with her if the back pay they owed you was like in the tens of thousands <laughs> 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 holy shit I'm in the wrong career ship construction can pay pretty well not at Rendilly. Apparently, not unless you get paid in ships. Should have got paid in ship. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. You, I'm go. Is it safe to assume that you all sort of met up on Ord Mantel as like the four-person group? Not like. I I, I can't say I care enough. So okay. that sounds just yeah, fine I, to me. I, I, from the sound of it, I don't think any of us have a backstory that's hammered down to the, you know the detailed minute that requires certain things. All right. I still want to imagine Rakchar bursting in and just screaming at Lissa that they need a mechanic for this. No. I don't I barely understand Shrewok, he barely understands uh Does he even speak Shrewok? We all can understand it. Yeah, you Yeah. That's part of the game mechanics. Yeah. yeah. That's right. The language is not a thing that you really need to worry about unless it's plot important. And that's right, and I'll always have this protocol droid who is able in speaking like six billion languages with me, in case anyone needs a translator. Mm -hmm. Your speaking spell. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that's all Aaron is, a speaking spell with the good. <laughs> oh. Jay would never mistranslate with Speaking spell with a have... gun, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, tough. little Timmy. Merry Christmas. Oh dear. All right. Um, as far as you said, like you kind of wanted to go over what our characters are good at. Mm -hmm. um, typical, what you expect from a talky smuggler type. Uh, I don't have a lot of extra skill points distributed anywhere because of the force crap, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's the talking part's pretty solid just because of characteristics. Mm -hmm. My query would be: Has your character revealed to the other player characters that she's force sensitive? I haven't 100% decided, but if we're going with the we don't really know each other that well yet type angle, I would assume no. Alright, that, that's fine with me. Alright. I, I, I just wanted to, uh, to know so I could express my appropriate amount of alarm and confusion if uh, something <laughs> should transpire. Humans are surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we only have one human in this party. There's a reference to why Caliber's yeah, thing where they had absolutely no surprise when it was revealed. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I still need to catch up. There's like, that. okay, I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we can, since Aaron's not here, I'll talk for him. His character's good at killing things. That's it. I mean, it would be a, he would he would be a pretty shoddy hired assassin if he uh, did not actually succeed at killing things, right? Yeah. It's because he was built well, by the Jawas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From what we've heard, the only story of his combat left him pretty fucked up, so... Uh -huh. uh, speaking of that, I do not have much in the way of combat skills, so don't rely on me to be shooting anything with precision. What, what specialization did you end up going for in lieu of, like, that big game hunter thing? Scoundrel. Smuggler. Yeah, smuggler scoundrel. That's right. You fucking said that you're not an explorer, big a hunter. You're a scoundrel, and they're right. completely different things. And since I've kind of dropped off the agility, like I only have two agility now instead of three, which isn't big, but it's still a die. Mm -hmm. Right. So until I get piloting skill up, I'm at two dice for it. I, I still had it stuck in my mind somehow that you were like <laughs> some sort of like big game hunter thing on top of a scoundrel. Where are your uh, experience points? Jeez. Yeah, I, I bought three <laughs> specializations. All my stats are ones. So your Tagruta thing, that's like the that's like Darth Maul thing, like that's the No, that, that like was actually the previous one, the spiky head. That's okay. um are you at all familiar with the Clone Wars animated CGI series? I've seen that a bit. You've probably seen the 
chick from that. Yeah, like she red was skin? Or the red skin, skin white, okay. like headdress type. Okay, yeah. With tails. All right. And against Padawan. They're, yeah, they're carnivorous pack hunter types, tribal Re- society. Reminded me a lot of the Twi'lek. Yes, they're similar in some ways. Aren't okay. those technically horns, not tentacles? Yes, they're, they're mantrals, actually. They're hollow, which they can use for echo location. They're hollow? Mm-hmm. Yes. They're very different from Lekus. That, that, that looks like a really elaborate headdress on your character. <laughs> it, it always does look like that because they do wear a headdress along the seam between skin and whatever you want to call it, the mantrals that's actually made from animal teeth. That's why it makes it really look like a headdress. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. A man could get lost in those creepy fucking looking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Although it, it's not uncommon for some... It's not uncommon even in the Star Wars universe for people to mistake Targruta for Twi'leks because Twi'leks are a lot more common. The size of her iris is as big as her lips. Jeez. <laughs> She's staring into pitch darkness. What do you expect? Oh, man. And the darkness stares back. We were talking about what everyone's character was good at, and Ryan was going first. His character's good at talking. Yeah, you don't say. Mm-hmm. I do like the one cool thing about Tegruta, though, Ryan, is that if they assist other players and they don't, it's not skilled assistance, they do give you two boost die instead of one. It is helpful. Well, I don't even think it matters if it's skill assistance. I think it's if it's any assistance, isn't it? I'll read into it, but I think it's... I think you might be right. Uh, when performing the assist maneuver, you grant two boosts instead of one. All right. So if someone's doing like pilot, someone else is doing like mechanic stuff, you can go and just say, "I'm going to help you." What, what, what's, yeah. the, what's the role play qualifier for that? Behind like how the Tegruda like do this? They're very good at standing to the side and agreeing with all of your assessments. Yep, that that, that seems right. <laughs> <laughs> I, they're, the actual like don't, don't. lore behind it is that they are a very pack-driven type society, so they're very adept at like group assisting uh, each other. So, so, yeah, so they're, they're great at teamwork, even though the person who they're assisting might not be great at teamwork. Correct. They know how to better position themselves and better uh, provide their assistance to help the person more than normal. All right. So if you're trying, so if you're trying to do negotiations, you can just go, "I'm going to help you." Well, she'd be the one doing negotiations. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to help myself. <laughs> but yeah. well, exactly how you would help me with mechanics. Get away from for a lot of combat stuff. At any time we're out of social uh, primary situations, you know, I'll be able to assist better having the support character. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. And we already talked about your character for you, Aaron. He just kills people. That's right. I mean, he wouldn't be that great hey, of a uh, assassin. Whoa, droid. Let me see if he has any other skills. He's good at lying, <laughs> lying and murder, and piloting in the atmosphere. You're apparently lying, very murder, and reckless car driving. Oh, oh, we've got a bond. Reckless driving. Holy crap! Those oh you put, God, you, you're you, niche. You put sure. those 175 experience points to use there. Yeah. His initiative checks yes. are going to be so sad. Well, so, okay. my, my, mine is the exact same. You got ones for both? It's mm. it's a good hey, thing. You, well, can roll, you can roll cool for two. <laughs> if, you, if you see it's coming. You get two ability dice versus a proficiency die. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. The initiative in this game is done a little bit differently. Yeah, a lot differently, really. Like, yes. Ryan can roll high, and then Grimace yes. can take his place. Like PC yep. slots instead of actual use. Anyway, I covered that my character doesn't have skills. Came from an extremely impoverished background. He was enslaved for eight years. Uh, He knows how to fight and how to survive as a fighter and on a hostile environment like his planet Molivar, his homeworld, with all the moisture farmers, and that's all he's got. As long as they aren't using sun setting. As long as they don't come at us with stun batons. Yep. You'll be ripping off the arms of droids in no time. 
I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, after the first session, I'm not going to pick up a ranged option. It's just, right now, this is what exists on the table. Oh, believe me, I know what you mean. I, <laughs> the staring at very negative experience points, trying to figure out what I wanted to do for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is good at fixing things, making things better. In general, just helping. I got what you need. It's just it's so a miserable way to say that. Oh, I, 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 could, I couldn't hear that without it being caked in, like, sarcasm and cynicism. <laughs> helping. I've, I've got what you need most of the time. Usually. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. It, it, it helps hey, when you apply your multiple back adverbs on. to a situation. Yeah. Uh, and then you pointed it right at my face. Again. Mm. Hey, come on. Fool me once. Mm. You can't get fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a really nice... You do have a really nice mechanics. Yeah. Gotta fix things. Well, it's, fix the, good. it's the cap that anyone can have on their skills to character creation. Mm -hmm. you do. Yeah. Unless you're, like, that fucking Corellian human person who can have, like, a three and, like, some pilot thing. Yeah. Well, if you don't dump think you all can. of... If you dump a shitload of experience into intellect and then max out on the specialization points, then, yeah, you can get, yeah. what, a three-two? Yeah. yeah but then I'd be crippled for anything that isn't fixing stuff or slicing or what have you. Looking at the Wookiee. <laughs> hey, I'm not crippled. My limbs work just fine. <laughs> they work too well, damn it. <laughs> they work far too well. Well, Aaron, did you hear about how they decided decided the backstory of why you guys are in Feta? Or were you still eating food? Uh, I got back right before I started talking. Okay. Well, well, we didn't This may shock it. you, but I talk whenever possible, basically. Mm, okay. I, I, I presumed he was away at the time, since it was only initiated like a minute or two in. At any rate, we didn't decide on anything. Mm -hmm. It just caters on the suggestion behind uh, how we ended up at FEDA. And it's that we fucking took a job from Florida Hut to deliver fucking the rare, like, cuisine that spoils easily. And, For a party uh, he was gonna have. And the food got wrecked. Yeah. Along with our ship. And now you're stuck on Feta. A ship that uh, the smuggler character had, which is why Rakchar was traveling with her, because she had a ship. She was the way had. to the next place. That's right, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Had a ship. You, you mean I could travel with someone and I don't have to pay for it? This is pretty cool, I like this. <laughs> All I have to do is stand around and look threatening? Negotiations yeah, are much simplified Dude. with an eight-foot-tall... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like muscle beside just you. like buy like the Drano like every planet we visit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All of the Drano. <laughs> <laughs> just like walk into the store, and just like. The, like fill out like the futuristic shopping cart with like all these like bottles of Drano. Like we'll wheel it up to the cashier. <laughs> walk out, walk out with like twelve encumbrance worth of Drano. <laughs> Damn oh, it, Drano. Uh, so yeah. Do you agree with that idea, Aaron? Or do you have some other idea? Yeah, I'm bored with that. Alright. It, do, it does make the idea that I'm... does make the opening little thing for the first session a little bit easier for you guys to swallow. It really explains why we're here and why we're still here as well. And, and, and why, why, why we're about to steal this motherfucker's ship. Yeah. And, yeah. and why fuck Florida. Yeah. I'd like to think that when we accepted the job originally, we didn't actually know it was for Florida until we, like, arrived and were told where to take it. We're like, oh. Like, as soon as we came out of hyperspace in the system, then we received a communication telling us what planet and stuff to land it on, and we're like, fucking hell. Shit. Fuck. As the smoldering wreckage that is the vessel, like, shudders <laughs> towards Feta. <laughs> We can land it, but we won't go unlanding it anytime soon. Ragchar is like holding like different like parts of metal and like screaming at Lissa. Victor! 
there's literally a hole in the hole, like, on the bridge, and he's just standing there holding a piece of metal against it. Is landing piloting planetary? No. No. Oh. <laughs> it's actually separating them into the type of vehicle. Yeah. Basically, okay, fair enough. You're basically... So technically, even flying a Star Destroyer intra-atmosphere is considered space. Right, I, I get you. It's spacecraft versus uh, atmospheric craft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you Basically, have some... speeders versus starships. If you have something that does that can't leave the atmosphere, it's pi- it's a uh, piloting planetary. If you have something that can leave the atmosphere, it's planet it's piloting whatever the other one is. I get you. Yeah. I'm fine uh, with plan- piloting a, planetary. That's a plan. Ran a star straight, star straight, straight in Florida. He might die from that. You're pretty fine with uh, anything agility based there. Yeah. So now you guys are. Uh, I'll just give you. I'll just, get, I'll just go around and say it. You know that thing that normally happens with uh, Star Wars movies, where they start they start these movie right in the middle of action. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a great strategy for like tabletop games as well, making it so that the players don't get bored right at the beginning. Yeah, so that's pretty mm. much going to be happening in session one. Like the whole planning thing, you know, you guys, you guys have already decided we're going to fuck over Florida. We're going to steal his starship. We know where his, the starship is. Fuck, star, fuck Florida. You're starting fuck in the middle. Guy. You're starting in the middle of getting the starship. <laughs> Fantastic, because uh, I don't want to spend another second more than necessary on this planet. Yes, <laughs> this planet that makes Narshada look classy. Only on bad days. What does it look like on good days? It could be a good day. <laughs> I don't think this planet has good days. Damn it. Less bad days? Maybe. I think it's just bad and badder. Ah. We were supposed to be disconnected? Yeah, Yeah. what's that supposed to mean? I think it's just you, Chris. Okay, just wondering, because I got knocked off. You want me to kick you out of the server? Your character or whatever was not dropped. I'm going to try again. Go ahead. Seems fine to me. Right. I, I, I like the idea more for giving us some motivation behind why we're attempting to steal a spaceship from a hut. Like, we seriously couldn't find anyone, like, easier or <laughs> less able to exact vengeance <laughs> by stealing a starship or picking Florida, huh? But now, yeah. now we have, like, in, in-game reasons why we want to steal a ship specifically from Florida. And it's because Florida screwed us out of the credits we were owed. Mm-hmm. And you're saying and then it made us pay him. I know. Because like he's double a fucking. Mm-hmm. I didn't sign up for double fucking. <laughs> Usually you have to pay extra for that. Yeah. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. In the first session, right in the middle of the action, gonna get, gonna get immediately get to rolling some dice and smacking some heads and. Doing other things. And attempting to learn the system. Woo! Yes. Never. Mm-hmm. And depending on what you guys decide to do after you get the thing, or if you fail to get the thing, because who knows? Failure's an option? Wait, 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 wait. I thought this was a Care Bear system. Mm, I don't... Uh, we rail- are the protagonist. Aren't we the ones who are supposed to succeed, or would that just be we were part of the rebellion? <laughs> hey, even they don't win for a few years. Yeah. Hey... Han doesn't get to succeed at things until he joins the rebellion. He succeeded. Shit. That's what this will drive up to, isn't it? Damn it! <laughs> We're gonna be guilted. Maybe. That that does that does segue into the, my next set of questions, though. Is like, what kind of a, do you guys have any ideas like adventures you'd guys want your characters to run in? I mean, do you guys want to do jobs for the rebellion? That's a thing. I. If they're paying the best, I, I I can't say I don't think that I as a player or as a character have any specific preference, other than the fact that I'd like to stay at a hut space. It's about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you you know my major traveling motivation. Mm-hmm. Jedi shit. Yeah, tracking down what happened to mentorship. Yeah. 
Well, uh, and uh, I mentioned to you that I'm going to want uh, yes Jay to start tracking down upgrade parts for himself mm-hmm. because self improvement is one of his goals. Mm-hmm. All right. I will definitely point out if we're going to be operating primarily in the outer or the outer mid room, we're probably going to be doing a lot of work for corporations and huts. Yes, but there, are, as I stated before, the one the one group of people you can trust to just fuck over a hut are huts. Look, look, I would rather do work for huts or for corporations than for the Empire. The Empire is the biggest fucker in the galaxy. What's wrong with the Empire? They're, they're decent What's people. wrong with the Empire? Hmm, let me let me flip open the book of grudges. <laughs> the many, many grudges. So what does, uh, is it Rockchar, what does he have against the Empire specifically? Only that uh, they pay horrifically. And uh, they, they, they seem to uh, they seem to welch on like like <laughs> that, that's his big book of grudges. <laughs> what, what do you mean pay horrifically? You aren't doing it just for the honor of working for your government, <laughs> nerd. What government? Where Most was Wookiees where are... was my government it's when a form I needed of it? All oh, right, they were busy enslaving my my ancestral home. That's right. That's what they were doing. There you go. Yeah, but you don't know, know anything about, about that, do you? About. No, I definitely would have heard about it over the past two decades. Hey, you hear about the Empire enslaving your ancestral home? What? I mean, what it would, ancestral home. I mean, it'll probably come up like, that's a pretty cool Wookiee. Why, uh, you mean that Wookiee's not a slave? Interesting. it just probably come up. You guys sure are trusting to keep that Wookiee around without binders on him. Uh-huh. <laughs> binders? What are we, school teachers? <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> That's the Magna Cuffs in the back. Damn it, not Magna Cuffs, my one weakness. <laughs> I'm a long restrained damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought, I thought stun broads were your one weakness. Do I still have that on my character sheet? <laughs> Alright. Did not keep Magna Cuffs too No, heavy. but no. Empire, they're just a bunch of Welchers. They're full of Welchers. I'm like, that. Nah. Oh, and when you have all the power behind you, you can kind of do whatever you want, exactly. even if that includes not paying. Well, I mean, a couple months ago, the Rebellion kind of did blow up a Death Star. Look, look, there is honor. They had a second. You know, there there is honor among smugglers and criminals when compared to the Empire. Yeah, huh? so much honor. But besides, you know, it's, you know, Rakchar doesn't have a criminal, like, history. The Empire isn't hunting him. But, you know, it's not as if what he's asked to do and what he's done in his life has been on the up and up. And now, to be fair, the Empire isn't hunting me either. <laughs> <laughs> Just Imperial Intelligence. <laughs> Only the Imperial Security Bureau is not a big deal. Only the CIA of the Empire is hunting me. <laughs> Yeah, so if you see runs into customs, they're not going to be like, hey, you look familiar. Nah. That's the Why idea. Why not? But Aaron. Aaron has evil sp- splicer gang. Splicer? Yes, Bioshock. Yes. It's the oh. evil sp- splicer gang. Yes, oh, man. Bioshock. It's they're, cool, they're down under the ocean. We don't yeah. worry about them. But the Jawa Splicer there's, Mafia. <laughs> they're as likely to get to us as the Jawa Mafia. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. I am not going to be rolling for the... I'm ob- worrying! I'm not going to be worrying about the obligation thing, because the obligation, that mechanic that brings a person's obligation for like the first couple of sessions, just so... Right, that, you know, you want to make it so that we can actually, you know, get a spaceship and maybe leave yeah. Theta. And then that's when that's when real life enters the fray. Yeah, that's when the training wheels come off. Training wheels, shit. I don't want to ride this bicycle. Well, those to balance. <laughs> this isn't a four-seater. <laughs> Last time we rode a bicycle, one of them got wrapped around the tree. I have right a protocol the droid's gyroscope, damn it. Chris needs to be kicked again. Chris is into that kind of thing. All right. Oh. Enchanté. <laughs> I like the decadent sigh there. Thinking, uh, but yes, I can make it more decadent. I have a couple of uh. Actually, no, I can't. I'm too sick to do that one. I have a couple of follow-up event 
adventures in mind following Theta, but I fully expect you guys to ignore them and go off the rails. So uh, I haven't written much yes, for them. You do. Yeah. Well, if if we go completely off the rails, then it's we're going to be kind of sitting in the middle of space, not knowing look, what look, to do. Look, no matter what, you have the conducting power of obligation. You can put us back on track. Yeah, I can. can. Very easily. True facts. 